This is a demonstration of the SPL Pro iOS app from Studio 6 Digital. SPL Pro runs on all iOS, iPhone, and iPad devices in both landscape and portrait modes. SPL Pro is available as an in-app purchase in the Audio Tools app, or it is available as a standalone app. The algorithms and filters in SPL Pro Sound Level Meter are designed to meet all industry standards for a Class 1 instrument. SPL Pro works with the internal iOS device microphone as well as external microphones, such as our iTest mic for Class 2 performance and iPrecision mic for Class 1 system performance. Using iPrecision mic, it is possible to have the system certified as Class 1 by an independent test lab. See our website for more information about this. We calibrate SPL Pro for the built-in iOS device microphone by comparing each iOS device model with a Class 1 instrument using mid-band pink noise as the stimulus signal. SPL Pro is recalibrated and updated with each major iOS operating system and new device release. Now let's have a look at the features and options in SPL Pro. The bar level meter shows the unfiltered input level and will indicate an overload condition if it occurs. SPL Pro supports flat, A, and C weighting as well as all of the octaband filters from 32 Hz to 16 kHz. It also supports slow and fast exponential decay, as well as impulse and peak modes and LEQ mode. The maximum dB level is tracked and may be reset at any time by tapping the reset button. If you would like to compare the SPL level at one position with another, tap the capture button to grab and store the SPL level, and then as you move around the room, the app will compute the difference between the current location and the reference position and display it on the bottom of the screen. Use the play pause button to freeze the screen or restart SPL Pro running again. SPL Pro also includes a pink noise generator. Tap the sign icon to turn on pink noise. If you would like to listen to the sound in the room, filter through the current weighting or octaband filter, turn on the output control. Note that this may cause feedback if you're using the iOS device mic and speaker. Now let's take a look at LEQ mode. LEQ, for those not familiar with the term, is simply a linear average of sound level over some time period. To use it, switch to LEQ mode and you'll see the time counting up. The display is now showing the LEQ or average SPL over that time. You can pause and start the LAQ at any time, and you can also reset the LAQ to start a new average by tapping Reset. Please note that if you are looking for a logging sound level meter that can continuously record a plot of sound over time, along with the audio or video, please see our SPL Graph iOS app. SPL Pro also allows you to store readings and recall them later, or transfer them by email, Dropbox, or iCloud to a computer. Tap the folder icon to bring up the Save Recall screen. From here, just type the name of the file that you'd like to save and tap Store File. Now you can select the file and export it or tap Recall to bring the stored results back to the main screen. This completes our demonstration of SPL Pro from Studio 6 Digital.